So you're going to end up going to the link in the description and you could theoretically just follow all of the steps in the description if you don't want to end up watching through the video, but I'll try not to waste too much of your time. So if you haven't created an account, you're just going to do that right now. And then it's going to end up taking you to this page and you're just going to end up noticing that there's this little thing right here in the bottom right that says, let's go back to the necessary steps if you don't want to end up filling out any more of this. So now that we've logged into our account, we can get sorted out with what house we want to end up choosing and at this point you're going to be kind of greeted with a little bit of questionnaire choosing like oh river or forest once you end up completing the questionnaire the sorting hat is going to end up making its decision for you and it seems like i've gotten gryffindor even though i kind of just skipped through a lot of the questions so now that we've gotten sorted we're going to have to discover our wand going through another little bit of a questionnaire here again it's going to end up choosing the wand based on your answers and then finally we have to connect our our Harry Potter fan club account with the Warner Bros games account. Now that those accounts are connected, we're going to have to go in game for the next step. Okay, so now that we're in game, we're going to end up opening up the pause menu and going to our settings and down at the bottom, you're going to end up seeing the connections tab and our Warner Bros games account. So from this page, it wants us to link our accounts. So while we could do this with our phone, I'm actually just going to end up opening the website up in my browser. And while I have my browser open, I'm just going to end up getting this link code right here and I'm applying it to my account right now. So now that I've applied the code to my account, it's saying that we have to connect our Warner Bros account with our PlayStation account. Of course, this would end up being different if you were on PC or Xbox, but essentially the same thing, just connecting to a different account. And now that we're back in the game, it's going to prompt us to claim our online rewards, which are all going to end up being vanity items that we can now select in the gear tab. And now that we're in this menu, similarly to the deluxe edition items, you just have to hover over the tab and click the change appearance button, and then you'll be able to see the mask for your specific house. So I can end up getting this one. And then for my robe, I've got this as my fanatic robe because of the fact that in game, I ended up choosing Slytherin. So depending on which school you end up joining in game is which cosmetic robe you'll be able to apply to your character. And another small thing to keep in mind is that with your robes, you can always end up pressing the alternate button to add your hood. And so long as you have a scarf on, it is going to affect the cosmetics of the hood, as you can see. And don't worry, when you do end up getting in game, there is going to end up being a very similar questionnaire where the game itself is going to give you a recommended house to join, but you can just ignore that and tell the game, no, I want to join this house instead.